Hello lovely people, welcome to the Geek Cup, but I am Penj and welcome back to Sim Casino, where of course we're back once again at the teapot, and last time out we created our very first buffet dining area, and here it is. It's called, of course, Betty's Big Buffet Bonanza, and it's proving to be very, very popular indeed, which is wonderful to see. So yes, lots of people are coming by Betty's to just have a little bit of a sit down and a bite to eat, which is splendid. So yeah, you can see now, lots and lots of people here. I mean, it is 12.30. It is 12.30 in the afternoon. So yeah, it's prime sort of buffet time. It's lunchtime. I imagine we'd see spikes here in the morning for breakfast, then around now for lunch, and then probably you know, in the evenings of what, between five and seven possibly, as people come and get themselves like an evening meal. But I imagine lunchtime is gonna be the most popular time for a buffet. And it's proving to be that right now. Look at how many people here. There's loads and loads of people here, hopefully all enjoying the nice food. I mean, these two people here might be enjoying it a little bit too much, possibly. If you two could take it outside, that would be nice, thank you. But yes, it's proving to be very, very popular indeed. And if we look how much it's taken, on the cash register, it says their revenue today, $1,740, and it's only 12.31 in the afternoon. So that is actually bringing in quite a nice amount of money, given that, yeah, 1,740 through half a day. So another half a day has got to go by. So this place is gonna be bringing in a nice amount of cash. I mean, it did cost a little bit to get in. Cost a bit to place down all the kind of you know, the buffet serving kind of things, get the kitchen sorted and put down all the tables and you know pay for the people and what have you. But yeah, you know, I think, in not too long, that will start paying itself back. We'll be able to pay off all the things and then yeah, that'll start just generating pure cash, which would be very nice indeed. So yeah, it's nice that that's worked out. I like the fact that we've got this little sort of nice buffet area. The only thing is, I suspect it might be a little bit too small. I think we might need to look at possibly expanding this out ever so slightly, because yeah, it's not very big. And if we're gonna get loads and loads of people in, we wanna make sure that everyone who actually wants to have a nice little bit of buffet food can sit down. At the moment, we've only got the eight tables. We've got the eight tables. And yeah, if people are sitting on their own, like here, that's not so bad. This table here, two chairs, two people. So two friends, I assume, are sitting around having a bit of food. But these four tables here, they've got one person on each. They've only got one sort of person using that table, which might possibly mean that we've got people sort of stood around waiting for a table because we've got single occupants going on. So we might need to look at getting some more tables in, possibly. We might need to do a little rework of that over there, but that's absolutely fine. And this, of course, was part of a fairly big building project for the teapot. So we've expanded all this out over here. We've got ourselves another bar. We've got ourselves some more sort of restrooms over there. There is the kitchen that with the with the headache flooring, the kind of crazy mirrored headache flooring that sort of uh, provides for Betty's big buffet bonanza over there. And then also, yeah, we've got some more ATMs and we have our incredibly ludicrous high limit gambling area where you can have a go on a slot machine for either $25 or $100 if you really want to. You know, if you're feeling very flush and very lucky, then you can have a go on that as well. So there we go. So we've got that in. Yeah, I think we need to expand this a little bit. I think we need to expand this a tiny little bit. What are we researching currently? Right, bigger advantage. That's very good as well, because bigger advantage means that we can put down the more exciting kind of uh, casino tables as well. So, you know, the dice and there's different sort of uh, different poker table as well. So we want to get that done. 8.8 .8 hours. Okay, that's not so bad. So let's get time ticking on and let's have a look at what we can do over here. Yeah, look at the amount of people that are coming in. So many people are coming in and they're just going to be waiting for tables. Yeah, we need to get more tables in. So what can we do to... What can we do to change this around a little bit? Now, life has become a bit easier. Now we can click on things and move them around a bit. That makes things a lot easier. How about, how about we expand out this way? So we don't have this path here, this little pathway down here. We just don't have that there anymore. And then the route to the loos, people have to walk along here and then down this way. Then they have to walk past the bar. So they have to stroll past the bar so they might, you know, walk past the bar, go to the loo, and then come out of the loo, and then go, do you know what? Do you know what? I'm a bit thirsty. I'm going to get myself a nice drink and a snack from the bar. How lovely. Yeah, if we force them past it, maybe that will increase sort of attendance at the little bar over there. And then, yeah, we expand out this way, this way over here. Take out this path. How about we do that? Yeah, okay, let's give that a go, shall we? So let's drip a drop the floor a second. We'll expand that back out like that. I quite like that, yeah. And then the, the kitchen can still get through to here and everything, so that's all good. And then, yes, we need to remove the fence. Ah, now, yes, this could be a problem. The fence removing thing didn't work last time, did it? The fence removing thing was a little bit 
wobbly. No, it worked. Okay, wonderful. And then I think we just move everything back. I think we just move all of these things back. Okay, right, hang on. Drop of the fence. We'll put the fence in again. So the fence can come in to say down there. Is that as far as it goes on the other one? Um, yeah, it is. Okay, good. Okay, so that's now level. And then, yes, we'll draw a bit of fence. Oh, have I lost the fence thing? No, I haven't. Uh, right, bring that like that. So the kitchen can still get to that little gap and go and put some more stuff into the sort of buffet serving areas. And then we just need to move things around a bit. So the beer dispenser, let's move that right to the back. Pop that just there. Um, yeah, the trash bin, possibly move that. So move that over to, move that over to there. And then, yeah, the other thing is these things have to be on a wall, which is a little bit strange. However, the suggestion did come in that maybe, maybe we could just have ourselves a wall in the middle and have those on either side, which I do quite like the idea of. The only thing is, how are we going to make that happen? So a wall in the middle is uh, just one over. Let's see if we can do that, because that's quite a nice idea. Can we put a wall? Oh, we can't put a wall just there. That's very unfortunate. Right, hang on. Put a wall just there, and then, just to save money, let's grab that, move that, pop that there. Grab that, move that, put that there. Why is that flashing on and off? It must be placed in a buffet zone. Ah, yes. We need to expand the buffet zone. Of course we do. Hang on. Hang on. Put the zones back on so we can see. Uh, Betty's. Betty's is being upgraded ever so slightly. There we go. Splendid stuff. Okay. Happy with that. Now, could we, could we actually move things around a bit so we could get even more tables in? I think we might be able to. I think we could probably move the steak buffet over. Hang on. Hang on. Let's get these people out of the way. for. Oh, there's people eating. There's people eating. Hang on a minute. Can you can you wait on your steak? I know you're keen to get some delicious steak buffet, but could you please hold on a second? How much steak buffet are you having? Okay, right. <laughs> Crikey. I was going to say they're having a lot. So move the steak buffet along. I'm really sorry, but I, I can't wait. There you go. And then we could move the dessert buffet along. Put that across there. That fits beautifully at the back there. That is wonderful. Then we can move you. I think we shift you over to here, possibly. And then, yeah, then the wall could go here. And then we can have some more tables over this side and some more tables going that way as well. Okay, yeah, that's very good. Okay, right, happy with that. Okay, back to building. Let us dismantle that bit of wall. And let's put the wall tool in. I mean, we can't really get directly in the middle, I don't think. I think about, about there's as good as we're going to get. I mean, do we want to put it there like that? Yeah, that's okay. I don't, I don't know what, I kind of want it. I kind of want it one back like that. Like that, but then hang on, hang on. How is that then going to work with the tables? So if we put ourselves a table just there, that's actually not so bad. No, that's okay. That's absolutely fine. Okay, so uh, demolish the wall section, the one bit that's just there. Lovely. Okay, now get the wall colouring in. Get that properly in. Thank you very much. Like so. And then we'll just grab those things and we'll just move them back. So we'll go one just there, and we'll move one to just there. And then we could put some on the other side. We could put some on the other side. Don't know if we should or not. Or do we put the beer dispenser on the other side? Maybe we should put the beer thing on that side. Hang on, grab that. Tilt that round. Yeah, I quite like that. That works out quite nicely indeed. So you've got beer on one side, soft drinks on the other, and then a big space over here where nothing is happening anymore. What do you want to do with that space? Hang on, hang on. First things first, get rid of that wall. I mean, yeah, we could... There's a bit of space over here. We could move that bin over. Let's move the trash bin over. Do you know what we could do? We could offer several trash bins. We could just go there, there, and there. Three trash bins, just to yeah, make sure that people have always got a place to put their litter. Okay, I like that. That's been reorganised. It looks a little bit more efficient now with all the different sort of buffets and sort of serving areas all in a line. Um, our person has got to go back to his cash register because the realtor worker is just sort of stood there now, <laughs> presumably a little bit confused as to what is going on. Um, are you going to walk over? Yes, you are. Okay, you've worked it out. Well done, well done. And um, yeah, we'll just drop her in the rest of these tables. In fact, if anything, they're a little, that one's a little bit far away, I think. I mean, yeah, did we just put these right next to each other? Uh, I think we might have done, possibly. Hang on, that one was pointing to the middle, wasn't it? They'll point into the middle. So yeah, those ones are going outside. And then twist that round. And that's going inside. Yeah. So I think they're just like that. Are they really next to each other? They can't be that near to each other, can they? There's got to be a bit of a gap. 
Yeah, I think there is actually. Yeah, I think that is in the right place. Okay, so that one is facing that way. That one is facing that way. That one is facing in. That one is facing that way. And that one is there. Okay, that is a significant change to the whole layout of that. And yeah, it was just, you know, we've taken up a bit of space there that was not really doing anything. We had a bit of a path leading down to a kitchen, which nobody really needed to use. So yeah, I quite like that. That's significantly better than it was. Do you know what? We do need to take the zoning off though, because it does look a bit crazy with the zoning thing on. Okay, wonderful stuff. There we go. So it's become a bit bigger. It's become a bit better. I'm happy with that. People are still using the machines. The beer machine is still working. And hopefully, yeah, loads of people should now be able to go and have a little bit of food. I mean, look, already, already people are using the extra tables. There's already somebody over there on one of our new tables. So uh, yeah, there we go. Hopefully that little change there will make this place even more profitable. I've just noticed that there is this person walking around outside. So housekeeping are transporting what looks like, you know, a sort of a trash bag. So a big bag of rubbish. I guess they're going to go and put it in the dumpster, which is fine. That makes perfect sense. That's what it's for. Yep, yeah, it's vanished. However, I can't but notice that there is a bag of rubbish just here. There is a trash bag over here in the middle of nowhere. That's not to do with us, is it? You're not walking to get that, are you? Hang on. Let's move time on quickly. You are. That, I don't think that's anything to do with us. I mean, it's good that, you know, you're taking care of the environment and the local community, but I don't think that was anything to do with us. Unless somebody's been, you know, I don't know, lobbing, <laughs> lobbing bags of rubbish over the walls or something. I don't know. I don't quite know why that's over there. But do you know what? Never mind. There has been a game update, actually. There's been a recent game update, which might possibly have caused a few little sort of issues with the save or whatever. I do not know. But, uh, but yeah, that's a little bit strange. But yeah, it's fun. It's fun. They're all over it. And it's making everything look a little bit tidy. So, you know, yay for the local environment. And a taxi full of people has just turned up, which means that we've now got over 400 new visitors today. And it's only half one. It is half one in the day. It's lunchtime. And we've got 400 people, which is brilliant news. So yeah, that should be, I imagine some of that's coming from our advert. We spent quite a bit of money on a radio advert. Hopefully that's bringing lots and lots and lots of people in. It says there, boost 90. So are we going to get 90 extra people in? I do not know. Anyway, what we're going to do is, over in that corner over there, it's a little bit lacklustre. It's a little bit kind of dull. There's nothing there. We've not kind of built that bit up. And over here looks all sorts of exciting. There's screens and ATMs and couches to sit on and lovely things. So we're going to kind of get some of that stuff over in that corner. So let's just, let's just drop her a, a couch and now we can just move things around. It's brilliant. We can just, you know, sort of shifty stuff rather than have to place it and then go, oh no, it's in the wrong place. Better sell it. We can just drop things over there now and then move them around once they're in. Okay, so happy with those two things over there. So we're going to create ourselves a little bit of a, little bit of an area over here where you can sit and have a nice drink. So let's move this couch over a bit and so move that to say, there we'll put the bin over this side because i like having them around and then we can get ourselves let's let's do you know what let's drop her that thing actually let's drop her that put that in the corner that's quite nice and then we must be able to get a few more of these in we must be able to work out a way that we can get some more of those in so we can have ourselves a couch there could we have i don't suppose we can put that that we can put it there hang on hang on hang on here's an idea right hang on hang on a second right we need to move that move that there grab this one, move that and obviously turn it round like that. Okay, a little bit there. Do we have tables? I'm pretty sure that there are tables somewhere. Um, or have I made that up entirely? There's couches and stuff, cube stools. I'm pretty sure there were like little sort of tiny tables. Here, yes, a round table. Okay, can we put that in the middle somewhere? Unfortunately not. It's, it's a small round table. Okay, Coffee table. Can't put that in because it's blocking things off. Do you know what? It's fine. People can just sort of you know, stand around a bit. That is okay. In fact, do you know what we could do? We could put the small table in the corner. There we go. We'll make it... Hang on a minute. Hang on. Hang on. No, no, no. Blue. We want the, we want the top bit to be yellow, please. There we go. Splendid. There we go. I like that. A little bit of a nice sort of seating area. And then we will have ourselves some sort of, some sort of vegetation. Um, oh no, we can't put that there because it blocks off access to the bar for some reason. I don't think it does, but okay, game. Uh, let's have let's have that little plant just there, just to make it a little bit different. There we go. So some people can go and have a nice sit down in that corner. And I think as well, I know they're a bit expensive, but I think we need a big TV. Oh my goodness me. Yeah, they're, they're bigger than I kind of remembered. Let's put a big TV just there. 
I quite like that. So you can sit here, watch a bit of the sport going on. Might encourage people to go to the sports book, possibly. That might be quite a good idea. And then can we put can we put things on the wall? Theatre, what's that say? Theatre, we don't really want it to say theatre. Um, a neon flamingo. Oh, yes. Can we just put some neon flamingos across the wall? Uh, yes, we can. And that's completely brilliant. In fact, do you know what? Neon flamingos all the way. <laughs> that's a one there and one there and one there and one there and one there. Because why wouldn't you want a corner of neon flamingos? I think we need to get our players club desk in because we've researched it at great expense. I think it cost about 12 grand to research that. And we've not actually got the desk in yet. So at the moment, that 12 grand is just sort of wasted money that's not doing anything. So let's get the players club desk in. And it's only a teeny tiny little desk. It's a tiny, tiny little thing. I was thinking about putting it down here. I was thinking it should go over there, but I don't think it needs to go there anymore. I do not think it needs to go down there. We can use that space for more sort of proper sort of, you know, casino tables or whatever. I mean, there's a little bit of space over here. There is a space here next to the bar. We'll do something with it. We'll put like nice plants or plinths or something around it to make it look all sorts of exciting. But yeah, I think, I think we pop that right there. There we go. So we have our players club desk. Nobody's at it just yet, but that's absolutely fine. Right, we need to figure out how to do complementary policies. And also we need to make this look a bit nice. We need to sort of decor this, because at the moment, that's a little bit kind of boring, isn't it? There is a sign, which I believe we can change. Yes, a theatre sign. Okay, yeah, that's quite good. So I don't think we can get it exactly in the middle, unfortunately. But let's pop that there. And then we can change the wording, not say welcome, but say players club. Players club. There you go. That'll do. Players club check-in, maybe. Maybe players club check-in. Check-in. I like that. There we go. So people who are part of the Players Club can come in and check in right here. Okay, wonderful. And then we just need to put something around it. We need to put something exciting, but not expensive. I mean, I'd love to litter the place with huge statues and all that kind of stuff, because there's so many different types. There's just so many. We can have... What's that? Like, what is that? Kind of like a sort of... Uh, like Buddhist statues or something? I don't know. But yeah, there's plenty of statues. It's just they're very expensive. They're very, very costly. So I don't think we'll do those right now. How about about some some columns? Yeah, there you go. That looks quite impressive. I mean, they're completely the wrong colour. Yeah, there you go. That'll do. Yellow column. Yellow column. That's beautiful. <laughs> oh, it is a thing of beauty. And then some, um, yeah, some plants. We quite like the, quite like the, the twirly plants. Let's grab a twirly plant. And we'll put one there and one there. Hopefully the person can still get to that desk. And then how about then we have ourselves a bit of the flooring just leading up to that there. Like that. We'll tuck it underneath as well. Just so you know to go to there. And then maybe we can just have some more sort of spirally plant things come in this way to lead you in. There you go. I like that. There you go. Players club check-in. All sorted. Right. Is anybody going to actually come here? I think I just confused that gambler customer lady there. I think I just baffled her by suddenly these plants appearing out of nowhere in front of her eyes. Okay. Let's make sure that somebody can actually get to this. So is somebody actually... There we go. Right. You've worked out how to do it. Ah. And you are now part of the players club. Oh, there's two people. Okay. Right. Okay. Right. There's already a bit of a rush for the players club check-in. Right. How do we do complementary policies? Is it under casino operations? No, but it's not. It won't be under transport. It's not staff. Entertainment gambling hub. Complimentary. Aha. Here we go. Right. So we need to have some of these things switched on or else it's completely pointless. Okay. So free service. Or for a free snack and a drink from a server. If a loss of at least 10 pound pounds. What? Pound. We're working in pounds now. When did we start working in pounds? Hang on a minute. We're, we're, we've changed currency. <laughs> Somebody's picked up the entire casino and moved it over to Britain somewhere. Okay, we're working in pounds now. I was completely oblivious to the fact that we're in pounds. But right you are, pounds it is. Oh, that's okay. That's interesting. I mean, yeah, that must have been part of the recent game update, I suppose. Because yes, it has been updated. It was a fairly sort of fundamental, quite big update that ironed out loads of bugs. But maybe it's sort of regionalised the currency to where you are. Okay, that's interesting. I mean, that's a bit of a shame. That's a bit of a shame, because I always had this picture that down the road, just down there, in the town somewhere, maybe over that way, was Lucky Dave's casino from, you know, wee hours. I always sort of thought that he was over that way. 
But if we've been picked up and moved to move to Britain, then that's not the case. Maybe, maybe. You know how you like you get embassies when you get embassies in a different country. The land on the embassy, yeah, where the embassy is built, is sort of yeah, you know, it's sort of sovereign land to that particular nation, isn't it? So if there's a British embassy in the United States, British rules and laws would apply, I believe, to a certain level to that particular embassy. I think maybe this is the same. Maybe this land. We're in America because we were working in dollars once upon a time and Lucky Dave's is down there. And so we were in America, but this land has now become, I don't know, like sovereign British land or something. I do not know. So yeah, British rules and British currency apply in here, possibly. And then that means we can stay down the road from Lucky Dave's, which makes me very happy. So there we go. Um, Okay. Oh, there we go. Right. So working in pounds. Hang on. What are we doing? I've, I've completely lost what we were doing. We were looking at this thing here. Okay. Complementary services. So free services, free snack and a drink from a server if a loss of at least 10. Okay, right, let's offer that. Let's up that though. So if you've lost 40, if you've lost 40, it's weird, I keep saying 40 dollars. If you've lost 40 pounds, then um, yes, we'll give you a, a free snack and a drink if you've lost a bit. Free hotel room, we can't do that. Free buffet access. Offer buffet access if a loss of at least 20 pounds. Okay, that's, no, 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 no. If you've lost... A hundred pounds, you get a free a free trip to the buffet, and then complimentary gift vouchers. Offer gift vouchers worth twenty dollars if a loss of at least twenty dollars. We'll offer that, but we'll up that to seventy-five. If you've lost seventy-five dollars, you can have gift vouchers worth twenty, and we can't do the hotel room thing right now because that's a bit silly. Um, okay, okay, that's very interesting. There we go. So we've got some complimentary policies in. Let's get rid of that. And yes, our our sort of player club desk is proving to be quite popular indeed. On that screen, hang on. Can we see how many people we've got? Total club members, naught. So nobody yet, but it does say, updated every day at 6 a.m. Oh yeah, so people over here, maybe they're just discussing what they can get. Oh my goodness me, <laughs> this poor guy. I'm very sorry, retail worker, I'm so sorry. There's, <laughs> you're being bombarded by goodness knows how many people who now all seem to be stuck as well. Is, is this, is this working? Are we just going to get some sort of terrible, terrible pathing problem where nobody can get in or out? Hang on. Hang on. What's everyone doing? Because nobody seems to be coming into this place. Everyone seems to come in and nobody seems to leave. Is that the Hotel California right here? Is anything happening? Like, are we able to see if people are signing up? Still got no club members. Maybe. Maybe these things around the edge are causing a bit of a problem. Right. Hang on a minute. Hang on. Let's move the things around the edge. Let's drop that out of the way. <laughs> Let's move that there. I don't know if it's causing some sort of pathing issues or whatever. I'm not entirely sure. Um, I don't, Is this working? I'm now confused. There appears to be a big gaggle of people around here. Nobody's doing anything. Nothing is happening. People are just sort of leaving. They're all frustrated. A little bit frustrated. Yeah, you're bored because you've been stood in a queue for hours. <laughs> okay. Um... Okay, right. Is this going to clear? Is that clearing? I do not know. It doesn't seem to be clearing. Everyone just is in a big pile. Everyone's just in a big pile. But then, more importantly, have we got any members? No. Hmm. Yeah, that, that might not be working as effectively as it could be. I don't know if our 12 grand investment in the research of that is actually worth it. A quick check on Betty's. It's made five and a half thousand pounds in one day so far. I mean, yeah, that, and we're not even done. It's still only just 20 past seven in the evening. So that's probably well on to get up to, I'd say at least six grand, if not possibly a little bit more, which is wonderful. It's not gonna be too long before, yes, that will have earned enough money to pay off all of the dining tables and all the sort of drinks machines and buffet things. And you know, the kitchen, we actually obviously fit out this entire kitchen, which wasn't entirely cheap, but I think in not too many days, I mean, yeah, obviously this will take some time, but that will pay itself off quite nicely. And then, yes, it will just start making lovely, lovely profit. And bigger advantage, our very expensive research project is now complete. Okay, this is very good. However, don't quite know how to deploy it in the best effective way. So we should now be able to have access to the rest of the uh, table games here. So we've got now Baccarat. We've got ourselves a craps table and we've got pie gal poker because we had all the other things unlocked. So that's quite good. But now how does that work with, I mean, do we put things in a special zone? I don't think we do. I don't we put things in a special zone. So yeah, lobby for double house advantages at slot machines and table games when editing the rules. Okay, hang on then. So slot machines. Let's pop over to a slot machine. This game could do with a faster sort of scrolling thing. There we go. Right, so 
this one here. So now can we fiddle about with the, can we fiddle about with the odds? So currently house advantage, 9.9. .9. Ah, yes, we can now make the house advantage way more in our favor. Okay, that's very silly. That's very silly indeed. Okay, so now we just need to do that on all of them. Do we just say, right, okay, the single bet push chance so you get back what you put in without losing, is now 35.9%, whereas it was 45. Okay, so they're 10% less likely to get their money back now. We might have to up this a little bit. I don't think many people are having a go on our $100 a go sort of uh, machine here because the jackpot is only a thousand. Okay, how about then? How about to try and encourage people to come into this? Let's put, let's put, 10,000. Let's do that and then ramp that right down. There we go. So the single bet push chance on that, there's a 29% chance they get their money back. That's not very good compared to what it was. <laughs> that's that's fabulously low indeed. Yeah, so if we just bring that down, and that, yeah, that's, that's 100 again. So, okay, so we need to just add an extra zero onto the end there and then crank that down. These are all fine, we'll just bring that down. Okay, so these are just getting more to our advantage. Okay, that's good. That's a good thing, that's a good positive move. Now, are we gonna have to do that to all of these? Because <laughs> I'd rather just do it once and it just applies those sliders to everything else. Because yeah, at the moment, they've got a 50-50 chance of getting their money back. The jackpot is only 25. Are people having a go on this? So they're paying $10 a go to win $25. <laughs> that doesn't seem particularly brilliant, does it? But um, yeah, if we bring that down, the house yeah, the house advantage goes more in our favour. But then do we then need to apply to all in row? Hang on. So is that now going to apply it, apply it to that? Has that fiddled about with that advantage? No, it hasn't. It's a bit of a pain, isn't it? I don't really... I think it's the idea that you're supposed to put loads of the different... Loads of the same types of slot machine in a row and then you just go right okay they're all playing that game i like it looking all sorts of crazy i like it looking all over the place um we're just gonna have to keep doing this on all of our things which might take a little while to get implemented but okay right let's just sort of drag these things around oh no it did oh no i did that one already i did that one already no absolutely stand down right let's just go through and move sliders okay there we go all the sliders are done on all of those as well so the house advantage on all of these slot machines is now weighed a little bit more in our favor which is quite nice i think these ones over by the door we will leave at the regular house advantage we'll leave them a little bit more so you get a little bit more successful for people so they might come in here pop in through the doors have a go on one of these slot machines and then think do you know what i've done all right on these slot machines i've done pretty well i am having a good day of doing the gambling how about I head further into the casino because I've heard about some slot machines that pay out a little bit more money with their jackpots. So they might head through to here, have a go on these ones, and then you know, put their money in, but maybe find that they're not being quite so successful. By that point, we've obviously lured them in and maybe, maybe they'll stop by and have some food. Maybe they'll go and have a little drink. Perhaps they'll go to an ATM or maybe they'll sign up at the players club or whatever. So if we get people coming further in, from those machines, that could be quite useful. So yeah, we'll use that to sort of, yeah, wet people's appetite, if you like, and then yeah, sort of lure them a bit further in. Now I think, now I think we need to get these things in. So we've got Baccarat, we've got the craps table, and we have Pie Gal Poker. I want to put them along here somewhere. I also would like, I would very much like another roulette table, because they make quite a bit of money. If we go and look in here, Go and look at the gambling, we can see, I mean, slot machines are making an absolute fortune, but roulette, 2761 looking very very good indeed but yeah blackjack's looking all right three card poker it's not looking too shabby either so they're making quite a nice bit of money as well which is very encouraging so let's get another roulette wheel in let's put that over at this end so let's get that where do we want the person who's spinning the uh spinning the sort of wheel to stand i mean it's gonna have to be sort of there um yeah where do people stand so they stand at the, yeah, they stand there. So they stand right with their back sort of to the thing. So yeah, how about there then? So they're looking out over the rest of the sort of area that way. So pop that there. That's quite nice. And then we've got one of them in. We're going to have to sort out all the sort of hours and stuff for these things. And then let's get a, now I don't know what Baccarat is, but we'll put a Baccarat thing in and we'll have the comfy seats and we'll have them in a lovely shade of, um, 
And you've got hot pink there. Have we got green? Have we got like a nice vibrant green? Oh yes, that is wonderful. Okay, so we'll have we'll have a bit of that. They're a bit of a funny shape. They're a little bit smaller than I was kind of hoping. Okay, how big are the crab toes? Oh, they're long. Oh, could we fit two of them in down here? Could we fit two of those in? I think we could. Okay, they're quite expensive, but hopefully, hopefully they'll make quite a nice amount of money. The only thing is, I don't know where the I don't know where the person who looks after the game stands. I'd rather they stood on the outsides. I guess they stand there near where that silver sort of bar thing is. I guess that's where the chips are held. Uh, me showing my you know, supreme knowledge of, of how gambling works there. Silver bar thing. That's precisely what it's called. Um, two of those. Bit expensive. Bit expensive. But they're in. Okay, and then we've got Pi Gal Poker. And then we've got the, the thing there. The Baccarat. Okay, and then all this space down here to fill up. I was thinking that maybe they would be like they'd be one square sort of wider, so it would fit nicely in the middle. But but no, so it's going to have to go either there or there. Again, we don't want those chairs, thank you. And they're not going to be that colour. Hang on, hang on. We had them we had them as a wonderful green before. Hang on, where's that wonderful green gone? There it is. Okay, let's pop that there, possibly. That'll do for baccarat. Hey, I don't really know what Baccarat is, but okay, we've got a table of it in. And then um and then Pi Gal Poker. Let's have those chairs again, but in an equally lovely colour. How about a really bright red? Oh yes. That is wonderful. Okay, so we'll put them. Could we have two of those facing each other? Could we have one like that? That's an invalid placement, apparently. Why is that? Ah, because it's too near the roulette thing, of course. Yeah, we're only gonna be able to fit, I think couple more in we can have one there and one sort of there the only thing is i don't know what the odds are of these things i don't know what the odds are of people winning back rat as opposed to people winning pie gal poker i've got no idea um okay that says there very into the chinese game uh play with cards instead of dominoes and back rat is a comparing card game play between the player and the banker okay but i don't know what the odds are okay how about how about we move this so let's move you to here. So we'll put you just there. Then we'll get the pie gal poker table with the proper chair. Thank you very much. And the red. Right, pop that there or there. Oh, which way? Which way is it going? Well, we could have two. We could have. We could repeat that over here. Yeah. Okay. Let's have two of these as well then. So let's have that one. Just uh, is that going to look nice and even if we zoom out a bit? Yeah. There's kind of equal distance between the craps tables and anything else so we'll have one of them we'll put them in the middle actually so people are in the middle yeah so the dealers can go in the middle so we'll have one of them there and then we'll have another one with completely different colored chairs um how about purple yeah like that there we go so turn that round so pop that there so that's those two and then we'll drop a that and then we'll change the colors to oh what color shall we have orange we have a nice orange. That's not as orange as I want it to be. That's more yellow. That's not good enough. Um, we'll pop that there, and then that one just needs to. Well, that one just needs to rotate round. You just rotate that round on its axis. Okay. So we've got ourselves a, a severe lack of money all of a sudden. Well, not a lack, but certainly less money than we did have. But we do have a load of new tables in, which is wonderful. Right. So the staff should hopefully run in and man these and start stocking them up with chips and whatever else and you know change and dice i suppose for the craps tables and what have you and look there's people coming to them already so there you go trusted staff is there and here we go the first person to have a go at a game of craps is over here now i don't understand the game of craps at all except you roll dice and have a guess at some numbers okay there you go you've had a go and you're having another go at throwing some dice this is very good this is very encouraging. Lots of people coming in. That roulette wheel already has people on it. It's already got people there. Okay, so let's get these two tables sorted here as well. So the workman needs to deliver the chips and whatever else it needs. Get those two in and that pie gal poker table as well. And then hopefully that should be looking pretty good. That should be looking very good indeed. And then we'll have to go and sort out the staff hours because they'll get all sorts of complicated and silly. So wait for the staff member to come in here. Wait for that one to come in there. And then I'll be happy with sort of looking at the sort of staff hours thing. Right. Okay. Wonderful stuff. Let's go through. And where's our toolbar gone? Where's the where's the toolbar gone with all the things on that we need to click on? Uh, 
<laughs> okay, okay, teapot, we have a problem. Oh, apparently if you press the button that's to the left of one on a keyboard, it gets rid of your, your sort of your on-screen kind of uh, menus and stuff. Okay, that's fine. I mean, that's quite good for you know, taking screenshots or whatever. Okay, right, there we go. Everything's back. It's all fine. So trusted staff on you can go home. We want nobody at these tables here because everybody can indeed go home. There we go. And then on daytime, yes, we want you here. So working hours, yes, please do turn up. Okay, wonderful. There we go. Right, so our fancy tables are now in, which is looking very good. Hopefully, hopefully they will make a nice bit of money. And I noticed, yeah, coming to midnight, 905 new visitors. That is very good. That is very good indeed. One day, one day we'll get over a thousand. That'll be that'll be a, a momentous day indeed. But there we go. I think now it's got to midnight. Everybody's clearing off. People are going home. And I think, yeah, this is when it gets quiet. It gets quiet. I mean, it's Wednesday morning at 20 past 12. There's a few people on the slots. It's all fine. Most of the staff have gone home. Most of the customers have gone home. It's all okay. This person, I think, is stuck. <laughs> they were there for quite some time. Okay, that's fine. Uh, okay, what do we want to research now? What's our next research project? We've only got 132 grand left. <laughs> Bear in mind that we took out half a million oh, pounds, I suppose, in a, in a loan. That's not looking great, is it? Um, okay, do we want to research anything else? Table game rule editing. I feel like that's something we should do. And I feel like that's something that I will not understand at all. It's going to be complicated, isn't it? So we could get that. But then, yeah, allowing for higher casino advantages. Yeah, so that allows us to fiddle the slot machine sort of numbers. This one here allows us to fiddle the uh, casino table games rules. Okay, advanced security, not really bothered. I don't know if we've happened across any hackers or thieves yet. Faster internet, 18 grand. That's that's not really, that's not really worth it. I mean, okay, yeah, it boosts research speed by 10%. But that's not really very useful. I mean, this stuff doesn't... I don't need to research things in a hurry. It's more the money that it costs. Theatre would be nice to have. I think that we're going to go for this. Fast multi-floor access. That means that we can then go up into the floor and start working on our lovely, lovely, long-awaited, I'll be completely honest, um, sort of your hotel kind of side of things. So yeah, I think we spend 13 and a half grand on getting that in. So we can have escalators. We can have elevators. They can get people moving about a bit quicker and then possibly possibly if we actually start making a bit of money which i think the money is actually looking okay um i think yeah maybe maybe then we look at a theater i quite like the idea of having a theater in there we can put on our own lovely shows which shall be splendid but yeah let's get this in first i think now the next big project that we need to do is kind of yeah nice sort of hotel type thing so get that done very expensive. It's very costly. Nine hours remaining. Okay, right. Research people. I know it's 20 past one in the morning almost, but you know, get researching lifts and elevators and escalators and all that kind of stuff, please. And while time ticks over in the background, let's just take a look at yesterday's money. So overall, we lost 72 grand, but we did spend 67,000 pounds. Now it's weird seeing it in pounds in construction. So we spent quite a lot in construction and also quite a bit in stocking as well. So yeah, we spent nine grand on stocking those game chips. So I think, I think overall, if we left everything running for an entire day, I think we'd actually make quite a bit of money. I think we'd be okay and would turn a profit. But of course, we just keep going in and building extra bits and bobs and changing things and adding pink flamingos and what have you, because why wouldn't you want loads of those everywhere? So uh, yeah, I think, yeah, we'll hopefully... Hopefully we're making enough money to keep ourselves afloat. I mean, not right now, because it's four in the morning on a Wednesday. Nobody's here. Well, there's a few people around, actually. There was somebody eating at the buffet. Yeah, there's some people, you know, taking a little bit of a little bit of buffet food. I mean, who knows how long that's been sat there now? I don't know. <laughs> Several days of, you know, sort of whatever. You could say, yeah, it's 28 day age steak. Yeah, because it's been there for 28 days or whatever. But, uh, but yeah, I mean, yeah, even now it's what? Five in the morning now. And uh, Betty's buffet has made 450 pounds which is quite nice but yeah in terms of in terms of this it's looking okay yeah this the construction it was just the construction i mean yeah those two crap tables 20 grand back rat, 15 grand pie gal poker 16 grand so yeah we spent a lot of money a lot of money we spent hang on a minute hang on we spent 540 pounds on neon flamingos worth it entirely absolutely fully justified purchase right there but uh yeah i think without the construction 
and without restocking all of the new things that we've obviously constructed, I think we'd actually be okay at making a little bit of money, which is very, very good indeed. A bit strange that we've got no club members. Don't really know why we have no club members on day 9 or on day 10, given that we have a desk for that very purpose, and people keep going up to the desk. People are obviously interested, but I just don't know what we're supposed to do with this. There's no sort of options on that desk for us to, you know, charge a fee or change anything or set any particular settings or whatever. It's just, it's just people going up to it and then kind of going away again. I don't really know what we're supposed to do with that. Yeah, still no club members. Unless that bit just isn't working in the game right now. I'm not entirely sure. I don't know, I feel a bit sorry for this chap here. I feel a bit sorry for our worker here, who must be just feeling a little bit negative. All those people keep coming over and asking him questions, and then, yeah, he's making no sales or anything. His, his self-esteem and his confidence are just going to be absolutely shot to bits. And it's not too long until fast multi-floor access, the most thrilling of all the research options, is completed. Here we go, three, two, one, and done. Okay, now we should have access to all of the fancy options here to move us between levels. Okay, so elevator, five grand for an elevator. Okay, can be set to staff only. Ah, so you can have staff elevators, that's quite nice. And then escalators, and then just regular stairs that we had before. Okay, so a quick look at how this works. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna we're gonna work on the um, on the hotel bit next time out. I'd kind of had plans to sort it out this time, but it's obviously not gonna happen this time around. But let's look at how this works. So an escalator, an escalator is quite big. Okay, I mean, who'd have thought it? Who thought an escalator would be big? I mean, where are we gonna, where on earth are we gonna put these things? <laughs> okay, I mean, elevators, okay, they're, they're fine. We're probably gonna have to have some sort of elevator shaft type things being constructed at the back. So you can go to here and go up to your sort of hotel floors and stuff like that. That might be quite nice. Um, yeah, these things, I imagine the stairs are a similar thing to the escalators, just, you know, less movie. Uh, yeah, okay. Okay, so how are we going to fit those things in? I do not know. So we want to get at least, we want an elevator in, a, a, probably a couple of elevators, I would have thought. But then, yeah, escalators are exciting as well. They're, they're always a fun thing to go on because you're moving, but you're not moving. It's like magic. Um, okay, there we go. Right, so research done. We now know that we can get up to the next floor. Oh, people are coming back in. All of the work people are coming back in. All the trusted staff are in and boom. They're all here. They're all here, booked on when they should be at 10 o'clock. And when you got here, hang on, hang on a second. Didn't we adjust your hours? Um, you can go home up until 10 o'clock. It takes them a little while to get in. It takes them a little while to actually sort of get here, but that's still not too bad. They're all here by 11 o'clock and it's still not overly busy right now. So, okay, right, that's all good. So yeah, now we kind of know what we need to do with these. I think, yeah, we're going to end up putting, say... A lift at the end of that corridor. Are the lifts three wide as well? Oh, they are. That is completely brilliant because most of our carpet sort of pathway bits are three wide. So if we put them at the end, it'll just fit really nicely. Okay, <laughs> that's brilliant. So I think we put one over there to get up to the next floor, one over there somewhere, and then it'd be nice if we could have another one somewhere, wouldn't it? I mean, do we readjust something and put another one right by the door? Do we just sort of do a tiny bit of sort of tinkering and put one... You know, I mean, not there, but you know, over here somewhere, sort of you know, tucked into a corner. If we could do that, that would be very welcome indeed. That'd be quite nice. But I mean, I suppose, I suppose if we do have one over there, which I'm kind of thinking, because that's like the main thoroughfare through the casino. If we had one here, people are going to have to walk through the casino. And you know, on, on their way, they might stop and get a bite to eat. They might do a little bit of casual roulette. They might, you know, chuck a, chuck a couple of couple of pounds as it is now down on the table and just have a little go so um so yeah we'll have a look at all that stuff next time out and next time we really really actually genuinely will look at doing some of the uh some of the nice sort of hotel kind of facilities so yeah we'll get ourselves a little hotel reception we'll get a laundry in and then we'll just get lots and lots of lovely lovely hotel rooms set up for the money that we've got remaining because i'm acutely aware that we are as we always do in these games, flying through our money at a very, very rapid rate. So, um, yeah, we'll see what we can do with the money we've got. 
and uh, yeah, have a go at putting together a nice little sort of hotel kind of floor on the next bit here. So yeah, on uh, level two, we'll start getting some hotel rooms in, but we shall do all that kind of stuff next time out. Hopefully you are still enjoying this. If you are, then please do leave a like. That would be most marvelous indeed. And if you're not already, then please do subscribe to keep up to date with how we get on here next time out in Sim Casino. But for now, thank you very much for joining me in the Geek Cupboard, and I will see you next time. <laughs> These people are eating the tables. They're just devouring the tables. They're so hungry. There's no atmosphere at all. Were you sat in the car park? <laughs> Are you sure you came to the right place? Mein Knien stan in Brand. <laughs> if you want to order meatballs made of snails, you need to be really certain about this.